Costacorn here, and today I will be sharing with you which units I don't recruit when playing Kislev, Norska, Cathay and Bretonia. Now I'm not saying these are necessarily bad units or you shouldn't recruit them, I'm just saying that in my campaigns I find it to be more detrimental to recruit these units than not to and that there are much better alternatives. So, first up, when talking about Kislev, the biggest issue they have when recruiting units is the fact that their buildings are terribly designed. And not just that these units are bad. When talking about their melee infantry, I wouldn't recruit Tsar Guard for two reasons. The first is that they take two turns to recruit, and the second is because the building from where you recruit them is just terrible. It's a tier 3 basic military building which can be built up to tier 4, which means it is best constructed in a major settlement. Now Tsar Guard aren't necessarily a bad unit, I just think that because of the fact that Kosovite warriors now exist, there is no real need for them, as Kosovite warriors fill the role of holding the line quite well, especially since they are anti-large and can stop monsters and cavalry from reaching your range units more easily. When it comes to their range infantry, where I will be including hybrid infantry as well, I wouldn't recruit armored Corsairs and Corsairs with spears, as, well, in my opinion, they don't perform better than just regular Corsairs, but are more expensive to maintain. Now, when it comes to Streltsy, I do have mixed feelings about them. I actually like using gunpowder units that have decent range, and they don't take long to recruit either. The problem, however, is in the fact that you have to build up the barracks to tier 3 in order to be able to recruit them. By the tiers 1 to 2, that building will be completely useless, as I can only recruit units I don't want. And even at tier 3, you get nothing in terms of any bonuses or hero capacity. So the only reason why I wouldn't recruit Streltsy is because I wouldn't build up the barracks building. But say I confederate a Kislev faction that has built it up, well, then I will try to get at least a few. When it comes to cavalry, I wouldn't get anything but Warbear Riders. And this is mostly because cavalry doesn't fit Kislev's playstyle of being a ranged heavy faction and, well again, terrible building options. You get most of your cavalry from basic military buildings, which gives you a single unit at each tier of the building up to the Wing Lancers at Tier 3. If I was ever contemplating building up the barracks for Streltsy, I can tell you I'm never building this for mediocre cavalry. And the Griffin Legion is a Tier 4 unit, recruited from the same building as Tsar Guard, but only at Tier 4, meaning they can only be recruited if you construct this building in a major settlement, and it also takes two turns to recruit them. Then, when it comes to monstrous units, I wouldn't recruit elemental bears or incarnate beasts, nor the things in the woods, as I really don't see them being useful in Kislev's range-heavy armies. Now, you might wonder why I would actually recruit Frostworms, and it's simply because it's a tier 3 unit that you can get fairly early on, takes one turn to recruit, and I would only get one of them in your armies that don't have Siege Attacker, so you have an easier time attacking enemy settlements. As for Grand Cathay, they actually have a lot of redundant units. All of their infantry units are really good and have their use, but most units that don't fall into this category are not really great for Cathay. I would almost never recruit monsters in my armies, with the only exception being if I want to make a doomstack for Miao Ying, as she is the only one who can reliably heal them. So units like Terracotta Sentinels, Moonbirds, Jade Jet Lions, Celestial Lions, I would avoid recruiting, not only because for some it takes too long to recruit, are extremely expensive for the value they provide, but they also don't fit the Cathay roster. Not to mention that some of these you will be able to get as mounts. As for their War Machines, the Sky Junk, Sky Lantern, War Compass and War Drums are units I don't feel I would ever need in my armies. I would much rather have the Cathay version of a Hellstorm rocket battery than a Sky Junk, as you get it faster and it is more effective on the battlefield. The rest of these units are just there to provide your army with buffs, which honestly don't really impact the battle all that much, and just getting another crossbow unit would be the same if not better. When it comes to their cavalry and Onyx Crowmen, I would get none of these. 
Cavalry, again, isn't going to help Kesei win battles, especially when they are as mediocre as they are. And Great Lanma Riders are honestly just a terrible unit, especially for being tier 5. I mean, just compare them to Pegasus Knights, and you will see they are almost the same in every way. But one is a tier 3 unit that takes one turn to recruit, and the other is a tier 5 unit that takes two turns to recruit with higher upkeep. On X Chromen, I see no reason to ever recruit, as they are basically just a better version of Chaos Furies, but again, they are just not going to provide good value for Kase armies. When it comes to Britonia, I avoid recruiting any of their melee infantry because of the peasant economy, as well as the fact that peasant archers are the best performing infantry unit you can get. It doesn't help that the Britonia melee infantry is probably the worst infantry in the game and will lose to even rats. So wasting peasant limit on units that are essentially cannon fodder, when you can have a damage dealer instead, for a lesser price mind you, is kinda not at all worth it. When it comes to your knights and cavalry, which is where Britonia truly shines, not all of them are to my liking either. First up, mounted yeomen, both variants, are just completely useless in any battle. After them, knights errant are also just rather bad, in my opinion as they have bad stats and performance in battle. It says they are anti-infantry, but they have no bonus when fighting against infantry. And overall, I just think Knights of the Realm are leagues better than them, even though you have to wait a bit longer to get them at tier 3. The only other knight unit I have a problem with are the Royal Pegasus Knights, as they are the same tier as Hippogriff Knights, but are barely any better than regular Pegasus Knights, which begs the question, why are they tier 5? I think this would be a decent unit if it was tier 4 and didn't take so long to recruit. Finally, we have Norska. Now, when it comes to their infantry units, I think all of them can be rather useful, so I don't think there are any units I wouldn't recruit. And their range infantry is also really good, but... I do find myself hesitant to recruit Marauder Hunters. As for Chariots and Cavalry, I wouldn't recruit any of them, as Skin Wolves, Ice Wolves and Warhounds will generally do a better job at running down range units and killing enemy cavalry. Lastly, when it comes to their Monsters units, I avoid recruiting Armored Skin Wolves, Feral Mammoths, Feral Manticores, Fimmer, Giants and Chaos Frost Dragons. Armored Skin Wolves are basically the same as regular Skin Wolves. They're just more expensive and take longer to recruit, which is the problem. Feral Mammoths are vastly inferior to War Mammoths, even though they take less time to recruit. Fimir are basically trolls, but without the regeneration and are much slower, which just makes them overall worse. Giants are bad when you can't heal them or provide them with a lot of missile resistance. And Ice Dragons are just... Not really a great unit. Well, I mean, dragons in general are overrated in my opinion, as they deal mediocre damage and are a fairly big target for the enemy to shoot. On top of that, with Norska, you have no way of healing them. Well, unless you get the Nurgle Exalted Great and Clean one. Also, do comment if you want me to cover this Doom stack. Well, these are all the units I avoid recruiting for these races. I would like to hear your thoughts on the matter, so do leave a comment. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe for future content. Thank you all for watching and until next time.